Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, audio react music visualizer, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition. 1920 by 1080. I call this main comp. Now here we have, audio visualizer background image. So drag the image into the timeline, then create an adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer, now search fill effect, and change layer mode normal to add and change the color, as you like. Now we need to add album cover image, in this circle. So create a new composition. This is our image placeholder comp. And change the width and height around 1500 by 1500. Now drag your image into the timeline, you can apply motion tile effect, if your cover image in small. Now drag image placeholder into the timeline. And make a 3D layer. And resize the layer according to our circle. Now here we have audio visualizer alpha image, drag the image into timeline. Select the placeholder layer, and change track matte luma matte. Here you can see the effect. Now select ellipse tool, then select image placeholder. And create a mask like this. Adjust the mask center of the circle. Perfect. Now drag reflection image into the timeline. Change layer mode normal to add. And adjust the opacity according to your choice. Cool. Now add your text here. Select text tool and type your text. Change the text layer into 3D layer, then adjust the orientation according to the background image. Cool. And also adjust the Z position and increase the font size if required. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now duplicate the text layer, and move behind the main title layer, this is our shadow layer. And change the font layer white to black. Now search CC radial fast blur effect. Change the center point left side of the text. And increase the amount around 75. Parent the shadow layer with main text layer. So we can easily move our text. Now duplicate the title layer, and move the text bottom of the main text. And change your text. Decrease the size according to you.
Then again duplicate the second text. This is our shadow layer. And change the font color white to black. Then copy the same CC radial fast blur effect. And paste on artist shadow layer. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add our audio reactor here. So create a new composition. I call this audio reactor. And change the width 1920 by 1080. And drag your audio into the timeline. And pre-compose them. I call this music. Now create a new solid layer. And search audio spectrum effect. Select audio layer, our music pre-comb player. Here you can see. Then change start frequency 25. End frequency 500. Increase frequency bands 2000. Maximum height around 800. Thickness 1.5. And softness 0%. Change the side options, side A. I think we should decrease the composition height. Then move the audio spectrum bottom of the composition. Now duplicate the solid layer, and change digital options, analog lines. Then change the Y start and end point little bit around 530. Perfect. Here you can see the line effect. Now go to main comp, and drag audio reactor into the timer line. Convert this into 3D layer, and move the anchor point, center of the bottom side. Decrease the size little bit. And also adjust the orientation according to the background. Cool. Now search fill effect. And change the fill color white. Now duplicate the audio reactor layer. Bottom layer is our shadow layer. So rename it. And change the fill color white to black. And X rotation 90 degree. And also change the opacity around 50%. Then search CC radial fast blur effect. Adjust the center point. And change the amount 60. Now duplicate the layer one more time. And this is our reflection layer. And change the X rotation 180 degree. And opacity around 50%. Then search directional blur effect. And change the blur length around 70. I think we should decrease the opacity around 40%. Perfect. It's look good to me. This is our main audio reactor layer, so turn off the sound of other layers. And parent the both layer with main audio reactor layer. So that we can easily move all audio layers. I think we should increase the size little bit.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now add music apps logo right side of the comp, so go to project window, and drag the music apps logo. Resize the logo according to you. Then add another logo, and resize it. Do the same with other logo also. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Now we need to add time code here, so duplicate any one text layer. Move the text just above the audio reactor, and type 00. Now search slider control. Go to first frame, open text layer, then open text. Here we have a time code script. Copy the script. Hold Alt key, and click on stopwatch icon. And paste the script here. As you can see nothing happen when I move the time ruler. But if you move the slider control, here you can see the changes. Cool. If you have 1 minutes audio, so change the slider control number, 60 second. So our time code show the 1 minutes here. As you can see I have 20 seconds audio. So go to first frame, change slider 0 second, and add a keyframe, then go to last frame, and change the slider 20 second. Now you can see that, our time is changing automatically. Perfect, it's look good to me. If you want to change the background color, so select the color correction adjustment layer, and change the fill color as you like. Cool. You can also add shadow layer of the time code, so duplicate the layer, this is our shadow layer, and apply fill color, and change the color black. Then paste the same CC radial fast blur effect. Also parent the shadow layer with main time code layer. And increase the size according to your choice. Perfect. Our animation has done, hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.